Minister Shinzo Abe says Japan wants to obtain advanced knowledge from other countries for use in preventing leaks of contaminated water at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Abe called the Fukushima Daiichi accident a bitter lesson. We are wide open to receive the most advanced knowledge from overseas to contain the problem. My country needs your knowledge. Abe made the remark at the opening ceremony of the 10th annual meeting of the Science and Technology and Society Forum in Kyoto on Sunday. More than 1,000 researchers and politicians from about 100 countries and regions are taking part in the three-day conference. Topics include climate change and energy issues. The Prime Minister also referred to reducing emissions of greenhouse gases. He said Japan can contribute its carbon fiber technology to help achieve the goal of cutting the world's greenhouse gas emissions in half by 2050. Carbon fibers are light and strong and can reduce the weight of cars and aircraft to save on gas. Government officials plan to take up the issue of contaminated water leakage at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant at the World Trade Organization. They want to address South Korea's concern over radioactive contamination of seawater around the plant. The South Korean government last month banned imports of marine products from eight eastern Japanese prefectures, including Fukushima. The Japanese government has called for lifting the blanket embargo swiftly. But South Korea's fisheries minister earlier this week criticized Japan as immoral for allowing radioactive wastewater to leak into the sea without prior notification. Japanese officials want to convey their position at a WTO panel meeting scheduled for later this month. They're expected to explain that Japanese marine products are approved for shipping after inspection based on strict standards. Korea has no immediate plans to ban imports of fishery products from Japan in the face of mounting concerns about radioactive contamination from its nuclear disaster as the radiation levels are below safety limits. But the debate continues on whether it is safe to consume the goods. Our Son Jung-in reports. Korean consumers remain concerned about the growing rumors that fishery products imported from Japan are dangerous to eat. According to data, 159 tons of Japanese fishing goods were brought into Korea in 2011 when a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and tsunami devastated the Fukushima region in Japan. And last year alone, a total of more than 2,700 tons of products were imported by Korea. From these Japanese goods, radioactive cesium was detected at a level of 1 becquerel to as high as 98 becquerels per kilogram. The government has allowed the products into the country as the figure still stands below the country's limit of 100 becquerels. Japanese farm products and processed foods, on the other hand, go through an eight-week-long radioactive check and are returned if even a small amount of harmful material is detected. The government says this double standard is inevitable due to technical issues and the fact that the food storage period is different for each food group. While the government reiterates its stance saying the fishery products are safe to eat, mothers with young children are still not at ease on the issue. Sun Jung in More than two years have passed since the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster, and Japanese authorities are still trying to contain radioactive water from leaking out into the Pacific Ocean. And while it could take years to get an accurate understanding of what damage has been done, the concerns are very real today, including here in Korea. Our Kim Hyun Bin joins us from the news center to tell us more. So Hyun Bin, how serious is the situation over there? Well, Tokyo Electric Power Company officials said that plant workers apparently overlooked signs of leaks and failed to notice an open valve for several weeks. The results were 300 tons of water with radioactive particles such as cesium and strontium linked to bone cancer leaking out to the Fukushima Daiichi plant 
and into the Pacific Ocean. Japan has come up with numerous methods to contain the leak, but all of them have failed so far. The latest idea is building an underground containment wall made of ice to try to halt the flow. So many attempts before have failed. Are the authorities confident that this latest particular method will work, Hyunbin? Well, there's too much uncertainty to be confident. The containment wall won't be completed until 2015, meaning that contam contaminated water will continue to leak from Fukushima for the next couple of years. If and when it is completed, the wall will be 1.4 kilometers in length, which will make it the world's longest continuous stretch of artificially frozen earth. But how effective will it be? It's a serious issue, and it's going to be hard to contain it. First of all, the area is too vast, and there are too many radioactive leaks. Concerns and doubts are on the rise about whether they'll be able to successfully seal the leaks. So, Hyunbin, you said 300 tons of radioactive water has leaked out so far. How's that going to affect us here in Korea and the rest of the international community? Well, the majority of the radioactive materials are cesium, strontium, and tritium. Uh, that is what's flowing from the water at Fukushima. Uh, of those materials, cesium is most predominant. Uh, it makes up nearly 90% of the radioactive substances, and it can travel in water while the other two, strontium and tritium, sink to the ocean floor because they are too heavy. These two substances are the ones you have to worry about because they can accumulate in your body for roughly 30 years. But since they sink to the bottom of the ocean floor, there's little concerns to be had. For a better understanding of what is going on, let's have a look at a graph. The Fukushima disaster occurred in March 2011, leaking hundreds of tons of radioactive water and hundreds of thousands of becquerels into the ocean, a becquerel being the way radioactivity is measured. The radioactive materials traveled in ocean currents to the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and as time goes on, the radioactive levels of those materials traveling around the Pacific will diminish. Currently, the materials is estimated to contain four becquerels of radiation per cubic meter which is two becquerel increase from before the accident. By 2016, the current will move the contaminated water to western Canada or the north, northwestern U.S., and by that time, the contaminated water will be at 3.5 becquerels, a slight decrease from its current level. By the time the water makes its way all around the Pacific and back to Korea, it will be the tw year 2022 or so, and by that time, the contamination level will have decreased to its normal state for, uh, from before the accident to about two becquerels per cubic meter. Well, right now, it seems like the post-Fukushima danger is very real. And here in Korea, there's been some controversy over imported fish from Japan with high amount of radioactive materials found in them. So what is the Korean government doing to prevent this, Hyunbin? Uh, for that, let's take a look at our chart. Uh, the Korean government set a safe limit of radiation in food at 300 becquerels per kilogram. If food items are under that level, they have a green light to be imported into Korea. The highest radiation level found in a fish imported from Japan since 2011 was 97 becquerels, nowhere near the limit. Japan lowered its import limit from 500 to 100 becquerels in April 2012. Other countries like the U.S. have limits as high as 1,200. But Hyunbin, we've been taught to believe that all radioactive particles are bad for humans. Is, is, is that not the case? Well, an expert I spoke with can answer that question for us. 300 becquerel is a really low amount, and uh, if you eat and, uh, almost every day, and uh, it is uh, going above the dose limit of the five millisievert in a year. <coughs> so, uh, if you consume just uh, one time or maybe several <coughs> times, it doesn't matter at all, <coughs> because and, uh, we uh, observed almost other and the radioactive sources such as potassium 40 is uh, abundant in the food. And so other food is very natural sources. Uh, so basically, Dr. Kong is saying that radiation is all around us, and even if humans were to eat a fish contaminated with cesium, whatever radiation were to enter the body will be released in time with no ill effects. Experts I have talked to, as well as others throughout the world, believe the levels of radiation are not much of a concern at this point in time, and would only become a concern if highly radioactive fish from near the disaster site is imported. Okay, thank you so much for that very insightful report, Hyunbin. I was our Kim Hyunbin reporting live for us on the radioactive leaks from Fukushima. Farmers from Fukushima Prefecture, an area hit hard by the nuclear disaster, have showcased the safety of their produce at an event in London. The Japan Matsuri Festival was held on Saturday in the British capital's Trafalgar Square. 
Crowds thronged to 50 stalls selling Japanese food. Fukushima residents sold rice and fresh peach and apple juice. The products had labels showing they'd passed tests for radioactive substances. It's great that the stall is here for everyone to realise and acknowledge what's happening and that people buy the produce and uh, things get better. The head of a Japanese residence group said he wanted to promote the safety of Fukushima products in a city that attracts people from around the world. I was worried, but I feel encouraged to see our food selling well. People are very supportive. The organizers say some of the proceeds will be used for children in Fukushima who lost their parents. In southwestern Japan are hunkering down as another strong typhoon passes through the region. Typhoon Fito is not expected to make landfall on the main island of Okinawa, but throughout the prefecture, five people have been injured. Over 10,000 homes are without electricity. The Meteorological Agency says the typhoon was about 140 kilometers north-northeast of Ishigaki Island. It's moving west-northwest at a speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Maximum wind speed at its center are 144 kilometers per hour. Weather officials are warning that as much as 150 millimeters of rain could fall on Okinawa's main island by Monday morning. Volunteers have planted 20,000 seedlings on a new levee off the coast of Minami Soma City, Fukushima Prefecture. The protective barrier contains rubble, wood and other debris from the earthquake and tsunami of March 2011. Minami Soma City and volunteer groups organized Sunday's event. About 3,000 participants took part. They divided into groups and planted the seedlings on mounds about 200 meters from the coast. I planted the young trees and prayed that everyone will be saved from tsunami. The seedlings are expected to grow to a height of more than 10 meters in about 10 years. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.